welcome to St. Benedict Parish. Today we gather as a community of faith to celebrate the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We extend a warm welcome to parishioners, alumni, and friends that are joining us for today's celebration. We especially welcome all those that are joining us for the first time and those joining us from across the country. We are honored that you have chosen to worship with us today. Before we begin, please note that the worship aid with music and readings for today can be found on the parish website under the live stream tab. We encourage you to download it and follow along. You'll also find a video for our children's liturgy of the word on the parish website, which is a shorter reflection geared toward our youngest parishioners. Finally, we want to extend a word of gratitude to all those that have continued to support the parish during these extraordinary times. For those wishing to make a gift, simply visit the parish website and click the donate button or mail in your envelopes to the rectory. Thank you for your continued support of our parish. Please join in singing our opening hymn, which can be found in the worship aid. Welcome. Let's gather together in celebration. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Of course, when we gather in prayer, we pause a moment. We recognize the weakness or sin that's a part of our life. And we celebrate God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord, you call us to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, you lead us through uncertainty to the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord, you show us the way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Well, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and that by your careful watch, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day, I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary, holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God 
what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking as God does, not as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in the Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so this weekend, in our readings, we're reminded once again that sometimes when we follow the Lord, we can face some real difficulties. Start with just what we hear from uh, Jeremiah. So just to kind of put it in context, Jeremiah is a prophet warning the community this is right before the Babylonians will come and capture Israel. So he's warning them that by their behavior and by the things they're doing, they're weakening themselves and they are going to face some real trouble as they head into the future but that what they're doing is so wrong that they're going to face punishment. They don't want to hear this. And so they're saying, what you're, what you're telling us, it, you, you know, you're against our nation, you're not patriotic, you don't care about us. Uh, why are you bringing this kind of word to us? So he's facing all these troubles. Now we know that the Babylonians are going to capture them. They are going to face trouble. He's trying to warn them of this. But the result is he's facing some real uh, difficulty. So he's now complaining to God. He's saying, look, God, what's the deal here? You know, you duped me. You, you call me to be a prophet. And uh, what, what's the task you give me to do? 
to tell them that they're screwing up and then they're mad at me and they're making fun of me and they're hurting me. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to be the one who tells them, hey, God loves you and you're going to see God all around you and everything's going to be wonderful. I don't want to be telling them that, that they're in trouble. You, you duped me. You picked the wrong guy at this time. Why didn't you give that to someone else and give me something better? It's not how he wanted to live what Christ had called him to, or what God had called him to. And let's face it, we all can at times find that in our lives, right? We might say, hey, come on, Lord, what's the deal here? You know, I go to church on Sunday. I'm trying to, to take time in prayer. I'm trying to read scripture. I'm trying to follow your way. And then why do I have to have this illness in life? Or, or why do I have to encounter this problem or this difficulty? Um, well, how come I can't have a, a, a better life? After all, I'm doing what you wanted me to do. So shouldn't you be giving me good things? Well, now it's kind of also what we see then in the gospel. Jesus says to the disciples, now remember we had just heard last week how, you know, he was, you know, kind of talking with them. And Peter, of course, is the one who had said, well, you're the son of God. And so there was this powerful, positive kind of moment. And now Jesus is making clear to them, though, what that means. And that means he's going to face death. And so Peter's like, oh, no, wait a minute. No, that's not what we're looking for here. That's not what I want. I, I don't want that for you. And I, I mean, we don't want to do that. We want to be, you know, we want some good things happening here. We want to see the nation rise. We want to see the kingdom of God uh, powerfully established and and we want to be part of this good stuff and Jesus says to him you know get behind me Satan he said now you're a stumbling block because you're thinking like human beings do you're not thinking and understanding the way God does he said see if you really want to be a follower you're going to have to pick up a cross sometimes in life you're going to face some real struggles if you really want to be my follower then sometimes what God needs is for us to go through some difficult times. And he says, and think about it, he said, really, do you want everything to go well? He says, because what good does that do? If you live a life that's perfectly happy and, and wonderful and everything's great, he said, so you don't really do what God needs done, then what profit is there in that? What difference does it make? Because it's the life you wanted, not really what God needed. And so he's challenging Peter and the apostles to recognize they're going to have to accept some things that are absolutely not what they wanted to face. But it may be what God needed from them at that time. That's a challenge also for us too, you know. As we walk through life, sometimes we can find ourselves struggling with what God may be asking of us. But we want to live a life that makes a difference. We want to live for the Lord. We want our life to be a blessing and a gift. Um, and so hopefully we'll be able to find the strength, the courage, the wisdom to be able to handle whatever life may be bringing us as long as we're doing it for the Lord. So we may want to take some time this week to kind of think about that. As I look at my life, do I see, or what do I see, that God may be asking of me at this time within my life, and how can I live that more fully, even if it's difficult and not exactly what I was hoping for, but I can see where God might need that from me. Where am I going? Where, what am I facing right now? And just to be able to ask God for the wisdom, the strength, the courage to be able to handle those things. Take up our cross and follow after him. <clears throat> well, to profess our faith this weekend, Let's use the, actually, the original creedal statement, the first statement of belief that we ever used, which is we call the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator, creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Lord, Son and our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Well, with hopeful hearts, we bring our requests to our loving God. For Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to help him persevere in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, may God inspire them in working to protect the sanctity of life at all stages. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are lonely, may the Lord look with compassion upon their pain and bring them solace and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the parishioners of St. Benedict, may God increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are ill or suffering in any way, May the God of all consolation bring comfort and peace. We pray especially for Larry Sajak, Stel Obert, Freli Go, Linda McCary, Gladys Hunter, Dradine Robin Udakis, Gloria Resede, Leda Wildner, Ellen Roberts, Kelly Hulper, Phil May, Danilo Bellasena, Annette Bowles, and Laborio Pereja. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the special intentions for this weekend's Masses, for Frederick and Paz Varen, members and benefactors of the St. Vincent de Paul Society, Consuelo Buenavenida, and Francis and Tommy Gallagher, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for those who have died, may the Lord welcome them into his heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer and for the intentions that we hold in the depths of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Almighty Father, you are Lord of all. We humbly ask you to listen to these prayers and petitions, which we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
My brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice, sacrifice your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Well, may this sacred offering, Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in you we live, move, and have our being. While in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. So with all the angels, we praise you. In joyful celebration, we acclaim... Well, you are indeed holy, Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving you thanks, broke the bread. Then, giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Now, in a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. Once more, giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Well, therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. So humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Blaise, our bishop, with all the bishops, clergy, religious, and with the entire people your son has gained for you. And Father, we ask you to remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Benedict, and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Because through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace. I give you. Well, look not on our sins. Look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, under my roof. and only yet say word, only my say the word, shall. my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I long for you in my soul. And I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. May never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, may Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. God sends us far to love and serve.